Yo, perfect timing right here, man. That was so, so much symbolism right there. That was so symbolic. What's up, guys? It's Leviathan, and we're back with another reaction today. Today, we are continuing Orient episode 5 today, and man, oh man, episode 4 was good. You know, we got a good introduction of Sugumi Hattori and her type of character. We got to learn what she's all about, and we got to learn some of the struggles that she's kind of going through in her life, which is great to see, honestly. Um, you know, Musashi and Kojiro kind of went out in the world not really knowing what they, what they needed to do what they had to do but now they finally um found a place the kodem koda made a brand and, and the fact that they're all in trouble and they're all about to get like basically killed and taken over by bushi right um their leader is kind of an enigmatic psychopath who wants to make everybody become a fighter even though there's women and children who are also in the band who are unable to kind of fight so he's the type of person who wants to kind of um use as much power as possible and believes that the ends justify the means which they don't so he kind of has like this weird hold on Su Su sugumi sugumi i believe her name was sugumi i think that's her name i'll figure it out later um he had like some kind of mental hold on her where she lost her sister essentially and she doesn't have family so she looks at this guy as a father figure and he basically is abusing that fact right and kind of getting her to do her dirty work for him which is shitty but it is what it is um so now this episode where we're about to see musashi and kojiro are both kind of in jail um they're imprisoned by the kodama band because of for some reason, I don't know. Um, I guess the guys just didn't like him. <laughs> but um, because they weren't able to help him, he's like, alright, we're going to imprison you then. And they're looking for something called a Kitetsu, which is essentially that little um, energy stuff that comes out of a Kishin. And that's what the Bushis use to kind of power up their own type of weapons and things like that, which is really interesting to see. Um, I'm excited to see what's going to happen in this episode. It's been kind of a roller coaster, honestly. Because watching this show, you don't I don't really know what's going to happen. Next episode, they could be fighting the Oni and they could not be fighting the Oni. We'll see. But um, yeah, we're going to get started with that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next. It's critical to know when I when I upload next. <laughs> Just so that you guys have a better idea of like when, when, I, when my videos come out and things like that. And also make sure you check out the patreon link that is down below in the description as well you get full uncut reactions of this show um any other anime movies tv shows bunch of other stuff check it out you won't be disappointed definitely worth it for sure <laughs> but without further ado we're gonna get started with orient episode five let's go Yo, is that the Kishin, the Onis that were about to come and destroy the Kodomo whatever tribe? Cause those things look creepy, there's, there's oh just a God, bunch of feet. Are they able to get out of their chains? That's crazy cause they were both tied up, so how are they able to get out of their chains? Man, yo, that's honestly so okay. So this guy right here basically trained her sister and 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 herself as well. Oh god, so she knew this guy since she was a kid. I can't take this guy, man. He, he pisses me off so much. The way that he's messing with this girl's mind. She doesn't want these people to go out and fight. Oh my god. I knew this guy would try that bullshit, man. Look at him trying to hit a woman. Look at him. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's such a... He's so trash, honestly. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
This guy has gotten her his hooks on her, her mentally so much. He knows the fact that she desires a family so badly to the point where he would manipulate her to to say that I will push you out of this family if you don't follow what I do. Disgusting. Oh my god, this guy was doing the same exact thing to his older to her older sister too. Do you, Sugami? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Grab that courage, bro, and, and kill this piece of shit. This guy's disgusting, man. I hate him. Please just do it. Just do it. Just 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 do it. Just do it. Yo, perfect timing right here, man. That was so, so much symbolism right there. That was so symbolic. And this guy's destroyed his, her confidence, man. Yes, bro, they, they reignited that fire in her eyes, man. That confidence is still there. I'm glad. そうするとなぜ畑仕事しかしたことがね私たちにこの方は一体何を考えておられるんだ楽しいぞ存分に味わえいやだ楽しいだけないどいや<笑> yeah, none of these people are for this man they're all like what the hell is wrong with this psychopath 戦闘員を根こさぎ戦闘防護と武士の橋ではないか鬼と戦うことこそが武士団の存在意義なのだ。なんでいどんね。子供の首などとって何になりましょう。我ら子様の武士団は必死を倒す日のために今は力を蓄えるべき時ではないでしょうか。頑張って親方様を解き伏せて
This is gonna be an interesting battle. Bushi versus Bushi. <laughs> Yo, no, he's gonna smash her down pretty hard. Shit. Ah, no. Why didn't anybody help her, man? お前たちの価値を武士団の王さであるこの俺にやあ yeah. spit in the stupid piece of shit's face man I love that I love that yes yes oh my god she she she's ready now man Yo, she... She feared this man's words. She never feared this man. He's nothing. He's trash. He doesn't have any power, man. Don't follow this piece of shit. He doesn't have any power, man. It, it will cost you everything. The cool energy, the, the cool energy beams in the show are always interesting. I want to really know how this power system works in the show, because they need to explain it. They haven't explained much yet. Shut up, dude! Now this guy is trying to be desperate here. Now he's being desperate as shit right now. Oh my god, man. You're pathetic. This guy's pathetic. Pathetic. It's just a bunch of giant feet. Is this a bunch of giant feet? I wonder who this guy is. So that was... Okay, so that was Orient Episode 5. Great episode, great episode. Um, liked it a lot. Um, that I loved seeing Sugumi kind of come into her own and be able to take, to, um, to kind of, um, essentially, like, stand up against, to, against this stupid idiot who wants to basically kind of, kind of do, not following what really what Abushi is, you know? He thinks to himself that it, it's a great honor to be able to kind of get women and children to go and fight for you. Like, why would you do that? I know that you don't have enough manpower here, but at least you won't be sending their farmers and the people who are cultivating food for you and keeping you alive, essentially. Like, you're saying that farmers are useless and they need to know the, the, um, the glory of battle is actually very, very stupid and convoluted in my eyes. They're farmers. They're not Bushi. They're not trained for stuff like this and they're and they don't have the um the desire to go out and fight like that you have to have that desire and that will to go out and and protect people that's how that's how you grow as a warrior man but clearly this guy didn't understand that and sugumi fighting him kind of took him down like like that i really like that honestly like musashi and kojiro it seems as though like the way that sugumi looks at musashi since like last episode it seems as though like she has like some kind of feelings for him a little bit I i'm hoping that's not the case because i don't really like a lot of romance in shonen animes because they do happen sometimes once in a blue moon like black clover with noel and things like that sometimes sometimes not we'll see what happens going forward from there but it was great 
Um, the last part of the episode was a little bit weird. I don't know who that guy is, but I'm excited to see what's going to happen next episode because now they're going to have to fight this um, Oni. I don't know if this thing, this feet thing is a Kishin or an Oni, but it's gigantic and there's like a hundred feet on there and it's crazy. I don't know how they're going to defeat this thing, but it's going to be great seeing the, the triple team kind of taking this thing out. And I really want to be able to see them have like some kind of weapons because like Musashi has a goddamn fishing pole for the <laughs> God's where the hell did his pickaxe go? I know it broke from last episode, but I feel like he should have gotten something something else, I guess. I don't know, but whatever. Um, with that note, I'm excited for Orient Episode 6. We'll see what happens there. But for now, we're th this is going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys all for your support. And, um, you know, it's been greatly appreciative. And it pushes me to keep doing these videos, honestly. So thank you all for that. Um, I will see you guys around. And take care. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye.